What is up, trainers? It's your boy Trainer Power here with another uh, top ten figure, top ten video with um, for my favorite Wicked Cool Toys figures. Top ten. I made it a top ten because I haven't been posting, but this is gonna be like a longer video, one of the longer ones. But if you guys do enjoy, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next review that will be coming up as soon as they ship me my packages. Like, why? Why, why, why? But if you like the background, if you like all this stuff, if you like me, subscribe now so you don't miss a video. I'm trying to look at this camera so hard. Enjoy the video, guys. What is up, you guys? Is your boy. Why are you like this? Hear my mouth. Anyway, what is up, you guys? Your boy Trainer Power here with another top 10 review, top 10 video, whatever you call it. This is my favorite, top 10 favorite Wicked Cool Toys figures, Wicked Cool Toys Pokemon figures of all time, or, or right now, because we're not even close to scratching the surface. But anyway, guys, you got a, uh, these are Autumn Dimensions. Didn't make the list, even though they're pretty f flipping awesome figures. If you don't have them, get them. You have the Wicked Cool Toys uh, Mew. This is the regular version, not the GameStop version. The only reason I, this one even got to be around on mention is because of the stand and I can have it flying around with stop motions, well, I will, which I will release and at the next review I will have a stop motion up. But go forward to that, but this one moves around, it's like moving around like meow meow, like an anime. Don't ever, don't reach out that. You got Psyduck here. The main reason why I don't put this on the top 10 if it didn't make the top 10 is because Psyduck here doesn't have a, a evolution like the figures in the top 10 have like or some of them have evolutions or like things that go with it but if this had when this we do get a gold duck eventually this is going to make the next top 10 if i ever make one and you got lavatar here i've been wanting a lavatar line and like the regular pokemon scale like you know how, like i really want a tyranitar the size of the dragonite but only time will tell let's get to start with number 10. Now, number 10 is one of the recent entries into the Wicker Cool Toys figure line. This is the Series 4 uh, Battle Feet, Battle Articulated Figure, or Marowak. See, this Marowak figure is good. It goes with the coupon for Wicker Cool Toys. Please focus. Yeah, it goes with the, the coupon for Wicker Cool Toys. This figure is awesome. The articulation is pretty okay for what it is. I mean, and the head moves uh, kind of okay, but you know what? I still love this figure, the overall appeal, the flashback, the nostalgia from like the old cartoon, the Pokemon original series where Cubone was, um, Cubone was like, yeah, Cubone, and then you had Marowak too. Pretty freaking awesome, but, um, yeah, this figure is awesome. Number 10, let's get to number 9. Now, sorry for the cutoff. Now, number 9 goes to one of the old time best figures for Wicked Cold Toys. Um, one of my personal favorites, and you know what? I didn't even use Dartrix in the. What was it? Um, a Lothan on um, Sun and Moon games. I didn't use them. I used them um, in Cinderor, Torcat. But of course, we don't have the. I don't have the Torcat, which I have to review sometime. But Darch is just daggone near perfect. Articulation is great. The wings move, but the legs don't move. But the sculpt it just makes up for it, man. Look at this. It's every detail captured of Dartrix, even the little darts in there. But this figure is overall amazing. I have the Rowlet from Google Cool Toys. Goes right with it. It's a. It's a little bit too big for the decision why, but it still has a figure either way. Let's get to number eight. Now number eight goes to the Wicked Cool Toys battle feature figure, Loudred. Loudred, this figure, I love holding it. I love just posing it around, taking pictures. If you follow me on Instagram, which is in the link of my title thing on the thing, I probably leave in the link description to be honest. But I just love posing him around and taking pictures of him. You see, he have every detail down to the. I don't know why he has thumbtack right here, but yeah, he just detailed and like I remember, I always love using Loudred in like games. Why is it everywhere? Because I use I just named Beats, just like I'm munching orange, but that's not a shout out, that's just a cameo. But you see he has every detail down to a T, plus he's well articulated and the details are very maxed out. But anyway, let's get to number what is this? Number eight. This little, okay, I lost count. Hold on, hold on. What number is this? Okay, this is number eight. Let's get to number seven. Now, now number seven, it goes to all three of the Google Toys Evolution. Evolution from Cantonian ones actually. Um, if I had to rank these individually, it would be um, Flareon first, then Jolteon, then Vaporeon third. But these figures are a good number seven because, well, they're awesome. And um, yeah, yeah, what is there more to say? We have Eevee from the Wicked Cool Toys line. I have two of them, the Smiling One and the Regular One, which I both review. But you got these, make it cooler. Just like get us some more. Get us the Sinnoh one because it's a Sinnoh all day. If you have a problem with that, I apologize, but not really or don't. Anyway, number six. Now, number six does go to Hunter, but I did include Gengar in this shot just because they look so good together. Hunter is one of the, let me get him out the shot. 
Hunter's one of the newer figures from season four, which includes a, well, introduces a different way of articulation with the stand, because Hunter is a ghost type, he does have floating hands, and he does float. So he has a little thing right here, the little stand too, and the little ball joints, and the hands move. So this is like really, really innovation, um, innovative, compared to like other Wiggle Toys Pokemon figures, and most Pokemon figures in general. But yeah, this is a good number six. Let's get to number five. Top five. Now, number five, the top five, the kicker off goes to Matang. The sole reason is that they did a so good job and so early in the pace of them making the figures. But the thing is, I've always wanted a Matang figure. Ever since I was a child, I love Matang. I even love Matang more than Metagross in some ways because Matang is just like, he feels like a, you ever see like, he feels like one of the most indestructible Pokemon, which he is. I mean, like he has two arms that like claws a punch. He's just awesome. I always loved him since a kid. I still love him. But the, the basic, the heftiness of it, it always, it, I just give it to him. Plus on top of it, he fits the scale with the Metagross from, I think it's Jazz Pacific, way long ago. So I mean, if we get a Metagross from Cool Toys, I mean, I'm good with this one, but if we do, we get it. Number four. Number four goes to the Wicked Cool Toys Breon figure. I reviewed this figure, one of my first reviews on this channel. This figure is amazing. I still love it to this day. I just love holding it. I, I didn't use Breon in the playthrough, obviously. I told you I used them. Um, it's living in Santa Rosa Toy Cat. But Brion is like, even though it's like kind of like a feminine type Pokemon, I still love it. I mean, this figure is amazing too, so it just culminates. But I think the Tony one might be better, but I don't have it. Will I do a review of it one day? You guys ask for it, I'll do it. I mean, but this figure is just amazing and just the way it looks and feels. But anyway, we're down to number three, top three. Now, if you didn't know what number three was, you should know it was Sharpedo this whole time. Sharpedo is my favorite, if not one, one of, if not my favorite. Water type fig water type Pokemon of all time. And Sharpedo, this figure does him justice with the right size. He has he is literally the most accurate battle feature and just an overall good figure. Plus it's on a stand. So I mean if you want to take some water shots, just stand like that and then have him moving around like this. This is awesome. It's an awesome figure. And they nailed it. Number two. We're coming back to the final two, and you know, number two had to be Gyarados. Now Magikarp is only here because just to show you that he has a full complete evolution line. Plus Magikarp with Gyarados looks so cool, but Magikarp get out the way. Anyway, this Gyarados figure is massive. We've never got a Gyarados figure this big and this accurate towards like the scale of Pokemon figures. This figure is always highly posable. Even though it wants to act up right now, but it's highly detailed. And I've been wanting a Gyarados figure ever since I saw Gyarados in the anime slash video game slash cards, whatever. But um, yeah. Number two, Gyarados is phenomenal, very big. It's about like, what is it, like a foot long? But anyway, guys, let's get number one. Now, if you didn't know, number one is Dragonite, but here's the reason why. See, the original, well, still to this day, I do like Gyarados. I do like, the, I think the Gyarados was, the figure was actually more actually well executed towards, well, then this Dragonite. But the thing is, the sheer size and the sheer like options for you to display this with Tomy, Jax, or other figures is the reason why I like this. Ever since I was a kid, I saw Dragonite, Tyranitar, Aggron. I always wanted a figure of this size and magnitude for those, for them. And like they gave it Dragonite, it's perfect. It has a few flaws. I'm not gonna say it's perfect. He does have a pre-posed body, but other than that, this figure is awesome. You can get him in some really nice shots. It's very awesome. And this is my favorite Wiggle Toys figure to this day. Now I might change them. They might announce a Tyranitar or even an Aggron in the Epic Toys line. But still, right now, Dragonite hits it. The articulation's okay. I mean, there's still more to be desired, but it's as perfect as it's gonna come, guys. But anyway, let me know what your top 10 is for Pokemon figures for Wicked Cool Toys. And if you like this video, leave a, leave a like, obviously, subscribe. Okay, you're not gonna do that. And just stay tuned, because we will have reviews as soon as possible. Thank you, guys. Keep training.